Hey guys, even here, and this video we are starting with another update of Regan Grimes, who is looking much, much better in this one than in the previous ones that he posted recently. I wasn't impressed with those, I thought he looked just regular, like he always looked, but now, watching this one under better lighting, it seems like he has gained some mass, he does look bigger, fuller, rounder, maybe he was taking it easy so far, he wasn't taking big amounts of gear, now he started using more and stronger stuff, because his competition is approaching, he's doing the Mr. Olympia, he's qualified, and from the front, he wasn't always that good, but from the back, he was like one of the best guys in the industry right now, he has an insane back, crazy looking hamstrings, great glutes, overall his rear side is just phenomenal, back double bicep, back lat spread, it just looks really good, I would like to see more detail and granity, grainy look, but still it's very good, most muscular, delts and overall fullness, he has that, it looks good, but the legs are kind of taking a few points away from him, the quads, the quads from the front, they are smaller, look at it now when he spreads them a little, I would definitely love to see much bigger and fuller quads than this, but I would say the major weak point for him is just the maturity, you know, he's not even that young, I mean, like, Nick Walker is, I think, two years younger, something like that, and he has the maturity, I think it's just the way he's training, maybe combined with the genetics, he does have crazy fullness, roundness, and he will probably last forever, he will probably be competing if he wants when he's 50, because, the, because of his training style, he's not punishing his body too much, he's not destroying his ligaments, tendons, joints, and, and stuff like that, he's training like the, the way Dexter Jackson trained uh, for the majority of, of his career, so for that reason, he looks fresh, you know, he doesn't look super grainy, but he does have the round, nice aesthetic look, and it's gonna take him a long way, but uh, it's gonna be interesting seeing him compared to some guys who are quite the opposite, such as James Hollingshead, so James is a couple of years older than Regan, but as far as how long they were competing in pro ranks, they are kind of similar, and uh, James, he's training completely differently, he's a powerlifter, basically, I mean, he's stronger than 99% of powerlifters, he's incredibly, incredibly strong, and even if you didn't know that, I'm sure you would assume you would guess that this guy is incredibly strong. This is him right now, prepping for the Mr. Olympia as well. He also qualified last year, just like Regan. So Regan's weak points are legs, quads and maturity. Now you can see that James has that maturity, even though he is not even close to being ready for the stage, he still has it, you can still see it. And these legs, these legs are squatting 8 plates, and it shows, you can definitely see that. Humongous legs, and he definitely improved them since last year. Completely different look than Big Ramy, but just th these legs are forming a circle. I mean, they are so thick, they are forming a circle, look at it, I mean, it's literally a circle right there. So this guy is gonna have one of the biggest legs on that stage, him and Big Ramy and Hadi, those guys are gonna be humongous, I'm really curious to see how James will place, and I'm really curious about the rematch against Regan, last year at British Grand Prix, James won and Regan was second, as you can see from this, uh, it's a front shot but it's taken from an angle, you can still see the difference uh, in, in leg size and also the maturity through the chest, shoulders and arms, and even though Regan just flows so well from the back, you can still see that the hamstrings and glutes, they are about similar conditioning, I don't know who is more conditioned here, but I think James just has that maturity, he has the muscle density, and you can obviously see, as he says, who is picking up heavy stuff from the floor, here on this stage, who is doing heavy squats with 8 plates, I think that's the only difference, I think that's why James won, and is it gonna be the same case at the Mr. Olympia? I don't know, because it seems like Regan made some gains, but I think James made way more gains, and I think it's not gonna be comparison this year, I think uh, James will outclass Regan this year. This is what James is doing at the end of his workout, it's absolutely ridiculous how strong this guy is. This was 7th exercise, guys, 7th <laughs> exercise, and even though he's super strong on the deadlift, it's still not really doing it for him, for his back, you just saw Regan's physique update, Regan's back double bicep looks so much better, surely James will look much better once he's lean, but still the lats are too high, overall back genetics are poor, and as you just read, he is doing deadlifts at the end of the workout, 7th exercise, so that's not the reason, he's probably doing goal isolation stuff, I think he is, I watch his Instagram, beforehand, 
but I think throughout the years of heavy lifting, he probably didn't really develop the best uh, mind-to-muscle connection when it comes to lats. Lats are really difficult to connect with, and I think Regan's style of training, years and years and years of training that way definitely helped him connect much better to the lats, and I think that's, that's one of the reasons why Regan's back looks so much better, especially in the back double bicep. But uh, still, James has a lot of other strong points, and I think it's going to be James who places way higher than Regan this year than Mr. Olympia. Okay, next we have William Bonac, and it's really funny, it's ridiculous to see how his biceps are bumping his chest. That's how big his biceps are, he can't even do a most muscular anymore without his bicep pushing his chest. I mean, I don't know if this is really attainable without sight enhancement oil. Uh, I, I don't know, I don't know, he, he must be a genetic freak if that's really the case. Anyways, I think this photo is not exactly recent. As you can see, his lower stomach right there, it still has some fat, and I don't think that's the way William's stomach looks at four weeks out of Arnold Classic. And he also wrote about this, I'm not sure exactly where, but he said that he is not exactly posting recent updates, he's posting stuff that is like three weeks old, and I think this one is probably like four weeks ago or something like that. But I don't think he really changes that much. I mean, he's maintaining this kind of muscle mass and he just gets harder, harder and drier. And eventually he ends up winning the show. So I do have him as a winner of Arnold Classic this year. It's gonna be definitely an interesting battle, but I definitely do have him as a front runner. Of course, he's the defending champ. He won it two times. He's going for the third time. He's gonna have a lot of guys, a lot of good guys to beat if he wants that title again. But the way he looks right now, big and full and round, it, it looks like it's gonna be a better version than we saw last year. And last year's version was top 5 at the Mr. Olympia, so it's gonna be really hard beating this guy. I don't know, I think he's gonna win it. The only guy so far that I can imagine beating Bonac might be Nick Walker. Other than that, the other guys, I mean, unless they make some crazy jump, crazy leap... I don't think they're gonna beat him, and Nick, I don't know how Nick will fare against him, that's why I think he might beat him, because he was really impressive standing on his own, and now he's coming to face Bonag, so we can expect anything from Nick to be 10th or 1st, but I don't think he's gonna be out of top 5. And it is Bonag's show to lose, really. Are we sleeping on Justin Rodriguez? Guys, take a look at that left arm, take a look at the size of that tricep, brachialis, and then bicep, and the delts, and the entire back, overall his mass, this guy is so massive and it looks like he is super super devoted, he's posting a lot of stuff and he's always he's always very specific about what he's doing, what, what, what kind of uh, approach he has, what he ate, when he took the photo, how much cardio he's doing, all that, it looks like he's very, very driven after winning Indy Pro and almost winning New York Pro. He wants to prove himself at the Arnold and then at the Mr. Olympia. It seems like he was never so hungry than this year. And it shows. I mean, this physique looks just insane. Not the prettiest structure from the front, but super, super crazy wide to the shoulders. One of the widest guys to the shoulders ever, really. And so much mass he's packing. And you guys know that his back double bicep is one of the best in business right now. And his body fat percent at four weeks out, it's spot on. And you guys know that he will be shredded. That's not a problem with Justin. He's always peeled. And it looks like he gained more muscle since Indy Pro in New York. And he had enough time to refresh his body and to peak again at the Arnold. So can he crack the top three? Something like that? Yeah, I don't think that's, that's too crazy. His legs came up big time. And they, they can't be big enough. I mean, his shoulders are so wide that he, he, his legs can be big Grammy-sized legs and it will still look fine. Because he's so wide to the shoulders. And uh, right now it looks like his legs came up. He looks conditioned. Four weeks out. I, I think we shouldn't be sleeping on this guy. And we should expect him to do really well at the Arnold Classic. And for the end, we have an update, a physique update of Dorian Yates. It's been a while since we saw Dorian's physique. And I don't know how much sense does it make analyzing his physique since he has been retired for 24 years now. <laughs> but hell, let, let's do it. I mean, his waist, his stomach, it doesn't look as tight, as small as it looks like when he's standing. 
but is he fat did he gain any body fat no it's crazy i mean i don't think he's really dieting and this is this is what it looks like when somebody has crazy fast metabolism this guy will never will never have fat he will he will die shredded just like dexter jackson said he will so he has a little bit bigger stomach but there's only a little skin folding right there there is no fat chest does look pretty big and full that was his biggest weakness during his competitive career but now it looks probably the most dominant here uh, arms of course they were always weak and they are still weak right now you can still see that the left bicep it was torn shoulders uh, deflated quite a bit but uh, you can still see a separation and a little pop so overall i mean for for his age guys he's 60 and for somebody who has been retired for so long and has absolutely nothing to do with bodybuilding he's doing yoga and cycling and that kind of stuff he looks amazing he looks happy he looks healthy he says to us just be and that's a good message i think it's not really easy to implement it it's easier said than done especially for us younger guys who want to make our mark on the world uh, it's definitely easier for somebody who has been through it all and done it all and seen it all so i think dorian should just be and not necessarily everybody not just yet but that's just my take whatever you guys think about what dorian said then or about his physique tell me in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video like it guys if you want to see more subscribe to my channel all the best guys and bye bye